What's going on guys? We are down in the homestead area. Just going to be doing some ultralight fishing. I have really one main goal today and that's going to be to catch a banded cichlid. So that is a species I don't have them on my life list yet. They're not very widespread. I have a couple GPS coordinates of where they've been sampled within the past couple years. So we're going to try to fish a couple of those spots but I don't have necessarily high hopes that we're going to find one. Uh, we're going to be using just some uh, red wigglers. A very small size 8 hook and then a little split shot behind it just to help with uh, casting and sinking. So we'll throw these worms around, hopefully get into a banded cichlid, but if not I'm sure we'll be able to catch uh, a couple other different cichlid species and I don't know what else is down here. My first time fishing all these spots, so I'm not really sure what we're going to find, but let's give it a shot. Alright, so there's our little piece of worm. I am going to just drop this down fairly close to uh, the bank. We got some grasses and weeds down there. I'm sure there's some fish hanging out among those that would like to eat a little red wiggler. Now let's see what we can get out of this canal. There we go, fish on. Feels like a decent one. Let me see if I can go down there and try to land this guy a little bit better. Can't see it yet. Is that a Mayan? I think that's a Mayan. Let me try to get down there though. Uh, yep, that is gonna be a Mayan. So first fish of the day is, is probably my least favorite fish that I possibly could have caught. All right, so mine cichlid, first fish of the day, definitely my least favorite and also the most common cichlid species found in South Florida. So we'll get this guy back, we'll rebait, and we'll try to get something else. Got him. What, what is this? Oh, little bluegill. All right, nothing all that exciting, but we got ourselves a little bluegill colored a little bit different than a lot of the uh, copper noses that I've caught in the past, especially uh, on the breast area. Whoops. He's got a little bit more orange than a lot of the ones I've caught in the past, but we'll let it go. Not the fish we're going after. There we go, fish on. This one feels bigger, probably a Mayan. This guy's pulling well. And he's right, right along that wall there. I don't want him to break me off on a rock or anything. Let me tighten my drag up just a smidge. Come on, let me get him out of there. Oh, there's a pipe there, that's the problem. There's a pipe under the bridge, that's where he's going into. Oh, it's a Midas. Oh, I didn't even know these were in here. Midas or a red devil. Look at this guy, just a beautiful goldfish color. Oh man, let me pull this guy up here. All right, so take a look at this beauty. Um, I don't know if this is a Midas, a red devil, or a hybrid between the two. They look very, very similar. So I'll try to figure that out later. Uh, but I didn't even know these fish were in here, so this is a very beautiful catch and a very interesting one. So not too bad at all. Got him. What is, what is that? What is this thing? Oh, another new cichlid species for the day. Little jaguar cichlid. All right, so jaguar cichlid, another new cichlid species for the day. So I think now we got three cichlids, but none of the ones that I am going after. So we'll get this guy back and we'll keep fishing. Got him. What do we got? Little guy. What is this? Uh, little juvenile Mayan cichlid, just a little baby. 
Yeah, so I sized down the hook a little bit. This is a size 12. I was using a size 8 earlier just because I was getting a lot of small hits that I wasn't hooking up with. But if it was just these little baby mines, I don't really want to catch these either. Alright, so I've been here for about an hour, maybe a little bit more. We caught some fish. A uh, good amount of different species too, uh, but not the one I'm after. So I think I'm going to leave this canal and I'm going to drive over to my next spot and then fingers crossed there are some banded cichlids over there. So let's go. Alright, so boy was it a challenge to get over here. This is not even spot number two, this is spot number three. Spot number two was inaccessible, and then to get to spot number three, I had to drive through the backest back roads imaginable, and I hiked about two miles in here. So, I sure hope we get at least some good action over here to make that whole hike worth it. Oh, there's one right there. I can see it. No, come on. What is that? Is that the same fish? There's a couple down there. No, I think that's something else. There's one banded down there along with a couple other... Oh, come on. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, no, this is just a spotted tilapia, but we're in the right spot. There's a couple banded sunfish down there. So there were a couple banded cichlids down there, but there's also a couple other there's mines down there. Obviously that spotted tilapia. So let's see if we can find those bandits. There's a Midas or a Red Devil down there. Oh, got something. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? No. Uh, another spotted tilapia. Alright, I'm going to try something a little different here. This is a 1 one hundredth ounce jig head with obviously a little piece of red worm. I think this could give the worm a little bit more action, which I am hoping could attract these fish a little bit more because for some reason they're not super super interested oh, over here. They're not super super interested in the worm just on that hook. No, I have. He bit. I set the hook a second too soon. Come on. Oh, okay. That one's interested. I just keep setting this just a second too soon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes! 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 We got him! Yes! Alright, so I worked hard for this guy, but we got my first ever banded cichlid. This thing is beautiful. <laughs> I was starting to doubt if we were going to get one, because I've seen a couple in here. You couldn't really get him to bite, but this guy was super aggressive. With that little red wiggler. It's a beautiful cichlid. Let's get this guy back after a quick pick. Maybe we'll be able to get one more of these guys, but I am so happy. Our goal for the day is met. Hey guys, greetings from the future. So it's been a couple days since my trip. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to start editing, mainly because I wanted to uh, confirm the ID of that banded cichlid. So I do not think that it is an actual banded cichlid, uh, scientific name Hero Severus or something like that, uh, because... No one else has seemed to really catch those in Florida, 
and the fourth uh, band on banded cichlids doesn't go all the way up to the top. Uh, on mine, it goes all the way up to the top. Uh, most people who have caught these types of cichlids in Florida, uh, they've caught green severns. So tentatively, I believe that's what this is. I haven't really completely been able to confirm that. Uh, I sent the pictures to a couple of the people that actually wrote the book on how to identify those things. So hopefully they answer me and I'm able to completely identify it. Uh, for now, I'm going to call it a green severum, even though I'm not 100% sure. So it's not getting added to my life list. But that's what we're going to call it for the purpose of this video. Um, but yeah, so back to uh, the past. So goal for the day is met. There was a bigger one down there, right where I caught that little one. So maybe you could get the big one. Oh, got something. What is it? Oh, this, this guy's definitely bigger. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, it's a zebra. Zebra tilapia or spotted? No, this is a juvenile spotted. All right, juvenile spotted tilapia. Uh, third one I think we caught for the day. I had a bunch more bites from these guys, but not what I wanted. But we'll get this guy back, and we can keep trying. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is another, another spotted. Ooh, nice colors on this one. But still just another spotted tilapia. Alrighty, another spotted tilapia, but probably the most beautiful one we got today. Beautiful pinkish red over here. Actually, on the tips of the fins, too. So we'll get this guy back. I think that's thunder, so we'll try to get one more, and then we're probably, probably going to call it a day. Got him. That's a Mayan. This is going to be a nice little fight. It's a big Mayan. Not the fishing necessarily wanted, but it'll be a good fight to end the day here. Come on. Come on. Eh, decent sized Mayan, nothing huge. Let's flip him on over here. We'll take a look at him and we'll call it a day on this one. Alrighty, nice Mayan. Decent size. I mean, there's a lot bigger ones down there, but this will do. So we'll get the hook out, and then we'll call it a day here. Alright guys, so that is going to do it. Uh, for the most part today, I was a little disappointed because I did not think I was going to be able to get one of those banded cichlids. Even after I saw them here, they're just... They just, I don't know why, but they just really weren't interested in the worms. They would look at it, uh, kind of get closer, 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 and then back away. Finally, really, I, I think I got two to bite. Uh, that last one, the one that I caught, was really, really aggressive, and we finally got that one. So goal for the day is met. We got our first ever banded cichlid. That's going to get added to the life list. Uh, it just It pays to sometimes explore a little bit, do some research, and getting back here was a challenge. I got a two-mile walk back to the car, and then it's like another five miles through these uh, really bumpy, uh, unpaved back roads to get back on the main road, but it paid off. So hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.